Hello, this is Stephanie, Talk Tales and Trivia. How are you this week? I hope you're having a pleasant week, and I always love coming into your homes or your cars or wherever you are. And I am so thankful to have my listeners that continue to listen to me every week. So thank you so much. Well, here we are. The holiday season has officially begun. Yes, Halloween is over and we are happily gliding into the holidays. Christmas will be here before we know it. It truly happens that quickly. This weekend was full of excitement for me. You see, it was a cheerful Saturday morning when I was in the kitchen. You will not believe what I saw. I still don't believe it. Right outside my back porch sat a huge red-tailed hawk. Well, I went into an excited frenzy and grabbed my iPhone to take pictures from the kitchen, and I got a few nice ones in before it flew away. Yes, nature is a wonderful and beautiful thing. So I am so grateful, really thankful, if you will, to be able to see such a wonderful part of nature come alive for me. Really a dream come true, and I am still in awe. Go to Talk Tales and Trivia on Instagram where you will see a picture of this red-tailed hawk. Now let's get on with our official Thanksgiving episode. Yes, this is our official Thanksgiving episode, although there are still Thursdays left until the big day. My first tale of this episode begins when I was 17 years old. Every Thanksgiving day, my father would always play the record Alice's Restaurant by Arlo Guthrie, which, if you by some chance don't know, is the ultimate Thanksgiving record. Look it up and play it when you get the chance. It's worth listening to, but be prepared. It's 18 minutes long. And by the way, there's also the movie version, which is great. So it was in September of my 17th year that I heard Arlo Guthrie was in concert at the theater, probably about two hours away from my home. Well, of course, I didn't waste any time and begged my mom and dad for money to buy tickets for a friend and me to go to the concert. Yes, I was actually going to see Arlo Guthrie. How exciting! But when the actual day came, there was a huge thunderstorm. And my friend, well, there's no better way to say it. He stood me up. Hmm, car problems. Some friend. Oh, how I cried. But then something wonderful happened. Something that I am thankful for and think about often, even to this day. My mom took the lead and called the theater and bought two more tickets so my mom and dad could drive me and another friend to the show. It really is about kindness of heart and being grateful, don't you think? Thanksgiving is an important holiday celebrated on the last Thursday in November, but there is so much preparation and anticipation for this particular holiday. But did you know that it originated as a harvest festival? Americans commonly trace the Thanksgiving holiday to the year 1621 when they celebrated at the Plymouth Plantation where the settlers held a harvest feast for a successful growing season. The feast lasted three days and was attended by 90 Native Americans and 53 pilgrims. It's unfortunate, but much like Columbus Day, Thanksgiving is considered by some to be a national day of mourning as a celebration of what is perceived as the cultural genocide against Native Americans by colonists. The New England colonists were accustomed to celebrating Thanksgivings. These were days of prayer, thanking God for blessings such as military victory or the end of a drought. Autumn or early winter feasts continued sporadically, first as religious observance and later as a civil tradition. Yes, Thanksgiving has been celebrated nationally, on and off, since 1789. 
after a proclamation by George Washington. In 1863, during the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln declared it a national and federal holiday. You know, hmm, talking about feasts makes me think of another tale that happened on Thanksgiving when I was around 15. Let me set the scene. A cozy home, Thanksgiving dinner being prepared. Ah, the smell of turkey. After a morning of boredom, being shunned from the kitchen several times, I expressed my feelings of sadness and boredom. (sighs) Somewhere between checking on the turkey and making the pumpkin pie, my dad actually took pity on me. Let's go for a ride, he said. Yes, let's do that, I exclaimed. So we drove and talked for an hour or so, just the two of us. It was perfect, and I was happy, and when we got home, I was tired, and I napped until Thanksgiving supper was served. Yes, I was well-rested for the next day. Black Friday! Back then, we loved Black Friday, didn't we? Just for the idea of getting out of the house and going somewhere? But nowadays, well... It's not the same. Busy crowds and nowhere to park. Yes, the Internet has become my Black Friday friend. It's really perfect. Imagine this, a cup of hot tea, the Internet, soft holiday music playing, and a stack of Christmas cards waiting to be written and to be sent out by the weekend. How do you spend your Thanksgiving holiday and weekend? We at Talk Tales and Trivia would love to know. There's certainly plenty to do. I hear Macy's puts on a good parade. And, of course, we cannot forget the quintessential movie made in 1947, Miracle on 34th Street, a perfect ending to a perfect Thanksgiving day or Thanksgiving weekend. That is it for Talk Tales and Trivia and our official Thanksgiving episode. You know, you can always go to TalkTalesAndTrivia.com to find out all the information about Talk Tales and Trivia. And, of course, there's that survey that lets us know if we are headed in the right direction with the research and topics. Yes, we want to get it right. And that is why the survey is so important. So fill that out. It takes a minute and it tells us so much about you. So that's fantastic. And that is it for the episode, and I will see you next week, and I hope that you have a great week, and tune in next week. We have already started the research, and I know that you'll love the topic. See ya!